I'm King Pookie Nation. This is your boy King Pookie coming to the house talking about the MLB trading the deadline. Was the trading deadline passed on August the 2nd? Now, the Cubs, you know, they, the big news was the, the Cubs were going to trade Wilson Contreras and Ian Hepp. And funny that they didn't even trade Wilson Contreras or Ian Hepp because. Nobody really wanted to give their prime prospects for for Wilson Contreras or you know or Ian Happ. So I know that the the Rays and the Mets were in the super stakes for Contreras, you know, and you know Jack couldn't even get the deal done, you know. Um. So um. But we did the Cubs did make some moves, you know. Um. They traded away Michael. Givens to the Mets to for a right-handed pitcher so will Gonzalez you know he he's I mean we he could be potentially be in the starting rotation in a couple of years in that some but gonna surprise and then the biggest trade that we I thought we should have got more value what we got um we traded Dave Roberts to the Philadelphia Phillies, you know, and we got um, Ben Brown, the, the 27th prospect in the Phillies, you know, farm system. They you know that's the best that we could have done. It's like we should have got more, but look, at, we gave up an older um, player, their 38 year old. And we're gonna get a, a young um, pitcher, possibly. He, you know, he he's tra he's working. He's in the minor league system. He's working his um. So he had Tommy John surgery in two thousand nineteen and two thousand twenty. I think that there was um the minor league system was shut down because um. So um, yeah, we're gonna have to give it time. But yeah, he got wicked some wicked stuff. And then um, we also traded the the biggest move that uh, Scott Efros his um we traded him to the New York Yankees. You know um, um we got Hayden Wiskins. He's a right-handed pitcher. He's the, the number seven prospect in the Yankees farm system. You know so uh, yeah um but you know. See, we did not get good players because nobody wanted, like, our Frankie Shaw and Dallas, nobody wanted a wisdom, you know. Maybe we had good players that, you know, people wanted to get, you know, Jed Hoyer, then we could have got, we could have compete, you know. Uh, look it, and then I'm, you know, I'm very disappointed that the Cubs, are in a rebuilding mode, you know. This is going to be the second time that they rebuild, you know. Um, look at the Dodgers and the, you know, the Cardinals, even the Padres. The Padres just reloaded. They even could afford to hit just to sign um, Tatis and give them a contract. And they had Manny Machado. And then, you know what? They even went out to get, you know, Soto. Now, they even also got a closer, you know, and, and you know, from the um, Brewers. Because they got Josh Hader, you know. And this team, you know, the the Padres, they haven't been to the World Series. And they never won the World Series. You know, I don't remember the last time they've been in the, play, in the playoffs. But, yeah, they, um... They're showing their fan base that they're ready, that the, the window is open, you know. So, um, so they, because they got to compete with the Dodgers and the Giants. Because, and you know, um, even the, the, um, Minnesota, they even added on. And you know, and we, and the Cubs are the biggest, um, team, you know. And they can't afford to pay those guys. They can't afford to extend. Wilson Contreras had said 
that he wanted to stay a, a cub, wanted to retire as a cub? No, but see, Jed Hoy wants to get prospects, and these prospects, when you don't even know if they're gonna even work or pan out, is because it's gonna take time, because they gotta go from single A to double A to triple ball, and then to the to the big league. So um, but yeah, hopefully um next season they will have enough money to get good players. And I'm you know Ricketts family, if you want to compete, you have to pay to get good players, not like your Frankie Schwindels and your Wisdoms that don't even cut it. You know we're not even make it to the wild card. You know um with those guys. I mean, I know they got you got Suzuki, but now he's in this kind of he was in a slump. Um, I don't know if he's gonna come back. He's come back, but yeah, um, he's. I mean, as Suzuki, I see a big future for that guy. So if we could work around him, I think we can do. You know, we could go back to the Wall Series and back, and we should be in the playoffs. Every year, not like once or twice, we should be there every year competing in the World Series. We should be. I mean, we are the biggest team in the market, and we can't even can afford good players because you need to pay to to if you want to play in the playoffs, you got to play good time players. You know, so um. Yeah, and plus, you need to get players that want to come here in Chicago. So some team players don't want to come here because they, they know that they're not going to succeed. And then plus, you have to have a good manager too, um, you know, if you want to compete. Because I don't think David Ross is going to take us to the playoffs. He's not going to ever win us the World Series, you know. So we eventually have to get somebody to help to get the, the cops to the back. So the, the World Series, because you know, so and plus, we Cubs fans are again ridiculous, really sick and tired of it. You know, being getting mocked down and that stuff, and everybody hating us. But then you know what I said. There's if we we got so many haters out there. You know, them is like out in there. That means there's a, a lot of Cubs fans in this whole world and even all over the world, United States, they have Cubs fans. And, you know, we got so many haters because, you know, they want, you know. So, um, yeah, let me know what you think. If you like the moves or what, leave me a comment below. Subscribe to the channel. Give me a huge thumbs up and join the King Poke Nation Army. This is your boy King Pookie and I'll see you in the next video.